Welcome to this course on quantum computing. I am Abhishek Kumar and I will be your instructor throughout this course. So first, let's see what is this course about. In order to answer this question, let's see what is this course not about. So you may be uh, confused by the term quantum. So just to clarify, this course is not about quantum mechanics and you don't need even the basics of quantum mechanics in order to take this course. Next. Uh, the word computing may mislead you. Uh, this is not a course about software engineering. You will not study any programming language like Java or Python here. So this course will not probably increase your, improve your programming skills as you may be thinking. So now we have seen what this course is not about. Let's see what is this course about. So we will see the mathematical model of quantum computations as these are the foundations of this course. And based on these mathematical models, we will see some of the quantum computing algorithms. Now let's see the learning objectives. So the learning objectives of this course is to understand the quantum computing. What is quantum computing? Why is it becoming so much popular these days? And uh, why is it uh, believed to be so po powerful? And is it the future of computing or not? So I will try to clarify some of these doubts throughout this course. Next, we will study about some of the quantum algorithms, design skills, because we will not just study the algorithms, but, all, but also the design skills behind those algorithms. Next, we will understand the quantum computation application limits. So is it that quantum computation will completely replace the classical computing? Or uh, what are the limitations? So we will explore all of these in this course. So uh, now that we have some idea about the what we are going to study in this course, let's see the course outline in some detail. So we will study about computation and information, computational system characteristics, the goal of computations, universality algorithms, computational complexity, quantum computing, quantum effects, multiverse interpretations of quantum mechanics. Then we will study about qubit and qubit measurements. We will also see multiple qubit systems. Then we will see quantum gates, Dutes problem, quantum computer prototype. Then we will see some more quantum computing algorithms. Then factoring and the RSA, quantum Fourier transforms, source algorithm, Grover's algorithm, Optimality of Grover's algorithm. Is Grover's algorithm optimal or we can do better? Then we will explore some of the limitations of quantum computing. Now let's see what are the prerequisites for this course. So you need to have uh, some understanding of linear algebra concepts, uh, matrices, vectors, the various operations that we can perform on matrices and vectors, and uh, different operations in that linear space. And uh, we will need to have some knowledge of Hilbert spaces because we are not uh, we are dealing with uh, complex systems and we will need to uh, have some understanding of Hilbert spaces which are a generalization of Euclidean spaces and it has some different notion of inner products lengths and angles and then we also need to have an understanding of classical computing uh, the algorithms in classical computing, their complexities, so that we can compare how the quantum computing is more powerful than classical computing. So let's dive into the course.